we have school choice. That's one of the reasons why our black students perform as high as just about any black students in the country. You go to Baltimore, Chicago, some of these kids are more likely to get shot than to actually have a high quality education. I don't hear the NAACP talking about that. What's your response to that, Mark? He is a history suppressor. He's a voter suppressor. Uh, and his effort to distract the issue into discussion of school choice misses the point that he's been a book banner and a black history suppressor and a voter suppressor, and that is his record. So while that talking point may work with some uh, elements of the, uh, of the Republican primary base, uh, the more he acts that way, the more he emphasizes those issues, he loses one of the points he's trying to make, which is, I'm more electable in a general election. He simply seems like he's trying to become the new Trump, or Trump-ish. Uh, and that is not what will make him a better general election candidate. So uh, his actions in, in, Andrea, in suppressing black history and in opposing AP black history is so offensive to me and so offensive to so many of us. Uh, it's not only shocking and surprising, uh, he literally, literally uh, has uh, made himself, in many respects, a 21st century version of George Wallace. George Wallace blocked the door to schools. He's blocking the doors to libraries. He's blocking the doors to, le to the legitimacy of African-American contributions to this country. It's offensive. Uh, it's racist. It's backward-leaning. It's not the 21st century. Well, you, you, you have nine Democratic governors now writing a letter in, to the largest textbook publishers today, urging them not to give in to the pressure, calling it censorship of education. This is not just from DeSantis. This is what we've seen in Texas and other states as well. And, you know, the important thing about it is censorships sound like North Korea, sound like Russia sound like totalitarian regimes. No matter whether we agree or disagree what's in a book, uh, then we have always honored in this country the marketplace of discussion, the marketplace of ideas, and to place the official sanction of a state on the suppression of history uh, is anti-American, period, full stop. And I just think it's the right thing for governors and others to do I'm part of an effort called the Freedom to Learn campaign. And that Freedom to Learn campaign is going to push back on whether it's a governor of a state uh, or an activist or whomever it may be against this effort to suppress the history of black people today. Who else will it be tomorrow? It's not American. Brandon Buck, Aaron Haynes, Mark Morial, and again, Mark, congratulations on 20 years thanks. with the Urban League. And thanks to all of you. And locked out the terrifying obstacle that Ukrainians faced in the middle of a deadly Russian missile strike overnight.